Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. In this video, what I'm going to do is, is uh, I'm taking a break from like C and C++ for a bit, and I'm going to do a few videos on OCaml. Um, and OCaml is a, well, this is basically family of languages called ML. There is functional programming. The thought process is a little bit different. Um, and from OCaml, languages like Reason, F Sharp uh, exist. OCaml came from ML, and that's pretty much the deal. Um, but what I like about OCaml is that the way you do things is kind of different. So it does force you to kind of think a little bit differently about how you write your code. So basically, when you install OCaml, first thing you do is you install um, SE. Okay, or it might be pronounced easy, I don't know. But this is, so I downloaded this. You can, well, oh, actually, the first thing you download is OPAM. And OPAM is like a, kind of like a package manager. So OPAM version 2.07. Then I downloaded SE, which is another sort of package manager. So, and then there's Dune, which is the build tool. Okay. And then Dune is the build tool for um, OCaml, which can also build a Reason code. Reason is a language built on, based on OCaml that also kind of borrows ideas from JavaScript and kind of meets somewhere in the middle. I've done videos on OCaml and um, Reason before, but they were using the BuckleScript compiler, which is a BuckleScript built into Node. Well, not into Node, but you could download it as a node package and then compile OCaml or Reason, now known as Rescript, into JavaScript. Here I'm using Dune, which is actually going to compile your OCaml code to an executable. Um, so a little bit different. But once you have all that downloaded, you can go to the OCaml website to get all these things downloaded. It walks you kind of through it pretty well. I would just then create a new folder. So we'll just say, um, you know, my uh, practice two, we'll call it. I will then open that folder in the terminal. And then the idea would be dune init practice two. Actually, it's exe practice two. So I'm saying I want to initialize a new executable project called practice two and that creates a project and there it is okay and here you see the basic idea so the basic idea with OCaml is that everything is expressions everything is so let what you're doing is you're binding an expression to so basically you're binding whatever you're defining here to this to this expression afterwards so it's not could be a function could be uh, uh, an expression that results to a value or just a straight up value, but the idea is you're saying uh, let this be that. Okay? Um, this is just your basic hello world. So basically, we're just saying this is just means like an immediately executed expression. We're not going to do anything fancy with it, no name, and we're going to run the print endline function and pass it hello world to get hello world. So to run that, I would just run dune build. Okay, so see that builds the thing. And then I would just do dune exec practice two dot exe. So even if you're on a Unix system like Mac or Linux, like I am, while exe files are usually a Windows thing, even here you still type in the exe extension. Okay, practice dune. Oh, yep, I make that mistake. Dot slash. Okay, and there you go. Hello world. Pretty cool. Now let's just show you some other cool things you can do. Okay, so let's say I do this. I'll say, I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna say let num, or let's say let result equal. Okay, and I'm gonna say I want it to equal something. So on the next line, I'm gonna say let chi, well, we'll say let num equal five in five plus 
num two semicolons. So what this is saying is let result equal the result of this. Okay, and then this says let num equal five in the following expression. Five plus num, and since that's the last thing that happens, that gets returned to result, and that becomes the value of result. So now if I do this, and I go over here, and we say uh, let, and then this is this expression is not going to have any name. I just, um, and then I want to use that print end line, and what I want to do is make the string of int because you have to typecast it. It has to be a string when you print it out. So I'm saying take result, which is a integer, because that's what 5 plus 5 is going to end up being. Turn it into a string, pass that to print end line, and that should print and use double semicolons. So they use d double semicolons rep represent the end of an expression. And let's try that out. So let's compile it. Oops. Okay, it's built, and so you get 10, okay? So this result result became 10. So the cool thing is you can do sort of like these compound expressions. Um, you could also define functions. So I can sit there and say something like this. I could say, let, um, let add equal, let add x equal x plus 5. I'm pretty sure that should work. Okay. So that means add is the name of the function. These are the parameters. And then there's the, the function itself. And then I can do add 5. And this should get me to uh, let's add 6. So we get a different result. Okay. And I think probably wants me to do parentheses here. Let's wrap this in parentheses. Yeah, just to give it a clear order. So this will run first. That'll do 6 plus 5, which is 11. Then that 11 will then be turned into a string. And then that will be then passed to print end line and print to the string. So first I build, run the build. Then I run the executable. And we get 11. Okay, so overall nothing too different. Um, most of the variables are for the most part immutable there is this thing called references that you can use but when you're referencing you're not necessarily um having a mutable variable what you're doing is you're creating sort of a namespace that you can sort of dereference to a new value um, which is pretty interesting so that's as a quick introduction to the ocaml language i'll be doing more videos on it where i'll do some more interesting stuff but this just gives you sort of a taste of one what are the tools you need to download running a basic script and how to then compile it and then execute it. So I'll see you guys later on. Have a great day and enjoy. And make sure to subscribe and like. Head over to devnerdshow.com and join the Slack and Discord channel. See you there.